guys, welcome back to Makings of Chanel Dijon. And today, you guys, we are making my favorite dish from one of my favorite places, which is Nobu. And I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering why my amazing cameraman, Sushi, is with me. He used to be a sushi chef, so he actually knows how to professionally make the items that I love. So he's gonna teach me how to make them. So excited. Yep, I got you, Chanel. Um, so I'm gonna list the ingredients of what you're gonna need for this dish. Yes. The uh, yellowtail capaccio. We're gonna need a yellowtail. It's a white fish, it's very clean. Um, sriracha, yuzu, and some greens, and that's about it. Ooh, yeah. simple and easy, I like it. Yep. All right, so we'll get into it. Um, what you're gonna need is a knife, obviously. Got, got my got knife. Fish. I'm gonna, uh, so when you usually buy a fish, it's, um, there's this red part on it. We're gonna have to cut that off so it's like more cleaner looking. Oh. Yeah, so I'll cut that off. Hopefully, I So it's just the top layer. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like the blood or some shit. I don't know why. Oh, wow. It's, Blah. it's just not good to eat. I like to get mine thinly sliced when I go to Nobu. Okay, I'll so. cut it thin for you. Oh, thank you, Sushi. I want to learn how to cut it thin, though. I mean, well, I'm pretty okay, sure it's no, easy you. to cut it thin. So this you could just throw away or, I don't know, deep fried or something or just... Ugh. I don't know. And then see how it's already, like, shaped like yes, that? Yes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut it thinly, like, yeah. you it, just like that into pieces. Seriously, you guys... I cannot wait. When I learn how to make this, y'all not ready. It's the lychee martinis for me. So, oh, ooh, uh, yes. I'm gonna do a couple more and I'll have you take over. Yes. Also, uh, so what, um, what are we drinking? Sushi has me oh, yeah. changing my um, wine to sake. Sake. S sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's fermented rice <laughs> Why did I shake wine? it? So right. it's kind of like wine, but it's kind of not like wine because it's, I don't know, they'd say like sake shot. So it's like a shot instead of a glass. Instead of a glass. Well, yeah. we're going to have the sake today. It's the first time trying it, huh? Yeah. Oh. Haven't tried it before. That's my favorite one. It's called Kikisui, if you're wondering the brand. Where can we get it from? Um, Japanese stores. Or, um, same store where you get the fish and stuff. By the way, about the fish. Um, oh, yeah, please. You can't just get a like a raw yellow toe. You can't just get that. You have to get a, sh a sashimi grade fish. It's like a sushi grade. It has to be cured. That's why. So oh. you can't just go and get like a... And get like regular salmon yeah. or... Mm -hmm. um, it's not cured, so there might be like bacteria and Parasites stuff. Parasites and stuff like that. So here, I'll let you take over and cut Okay. This. It's pretty simple. You just... You guys, I've never really cut into the fish like this. Oh, Perfect. it is really simple. Look at that, see? I'm a pro. All right guys, so I just finished plating the fish nicely on a plate. And now we're gonna move on to step one, which is the yuzu sauce. Pour it on in. We're gonna pour it all over. Make sure it absorbs all yeah. over, yum. So it gets all up in that. Mmm. Yeah. And then um, uh, we're also gonna need a jalapeno. Just like the, I love myself spicy. You could also use, uh, yeah, if you want it spicier, you can use um, some perennial peppers. That's, mm. that's what I like, but yeah, we're gonna put a piggy today. So I'm, I'm gonna thin to slice these. And then Chanel, maybe you could just put them on. Yeah. Uh, put it on like that part. Right here? Mm -hmm. At the end? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you guys, I'm really making my own sushi plate. Like, what? And this is this is so simple. You don't it's really... so simple, guys. Seriously. It's like five ingredients. Wait. I'm gonna be making this for all my friends. It's already looking you guys. I can't believe I just made this. This is what I always take pictures of. Really? I just made it home. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna get the sriracha. That's oh. the next step. Yes. And we're gonna put it in right here, a little dots to make it a little bit more spicy. You guys, I'm excited. I'm actually excited. Oh, 
Oh, looks amazing. And then we're going to top it off with some greens mm -hmm. as some garnish. garnish. But it's also good with yuzu. Uh, if you didn't know, there's a yuzu, yuzu salad um, dressing. Oh, is it? Yeah. I've never had that. And then, yeah, we have, we're there. Fire. Here we go. Our yotel carpaccio. Hey. Okay, next, you guys, we're going to be making one of my favorites, a California sushi roll. I'm going to make mine, and Sushi's going to make a different version of his, but it looks a little bit more fancier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm going to list the ingredients that we're going to need for this California roll. Um, California roll is pretty simple. Um, the thing about California rolls is uh, at sushi restaurants is mainly like a base roll, so they'll usually use it as a base mm -hmm. and put like fish on top. So oh, okay. that's why it's, they kind of trick you in a way, like making you think. <laughs> Thinking like, like it's yeah. so many different ones. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the it's same. Not, but they use it as a base a lot. So yeah. California roll is an important roll. So what we're, gonna we're need, learning. Yeah. What we're going to need for a California roll is sushi rice. The seaweed I get is Yamamoto. Uh, you can get any type of seaweed from any Japanese stores like Marukai, H Mart, or Tokyo Central. That's where I get all my fish and all, all that stuff. But I go to Tokyo Central because they lit. They just got everything. Um, you're gonna need avocado, cucumber, uh, kani, and uh, sesame seeds, and Japanese mayo. Ooh. This is important. This, this is the sauce. You're gonna need the sauce. Um, that's, I, we're actually going to start off with this, so let's, okay, let's start off with this and put it, we put it on our gloves so the rice doesn't stick. Oh, yeah. so this is key to the rice not sticking. Yeah, and well, we're going to put it in the roll too, but it's, okay. it's, it's, it's yeah, I just use it so that it doesn't stick okay. our hands. Season your gloves. Yeah, season the gloves <laughs> season and your rice. Season the gloves and the rice. So I like get to like make a, like little, get like a little ball, like a, okay. like a baseball, but uh -huh. we'll come back to it. All right, all right. And then just put it on it. Boom. There. And we're going to spread our rice on the seaweed. I'm going to just like, not, monkey don't, no, see no, monkey do. Don't, don't push down like that. <laughs> Because it, so what, what that nice, does is, um, yeah, it makes it stick. It, no, uh, it smushes the rice. You, oh. you kind of want the consistency to be like still there, so kind of just like move it onto there instead of smushing oh, it. Oh, okay. Like, and then don't worry about the spots and stuff because we could just fill it in. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just gonna fill move it, it in. Yeah, and the thing is about the making a rolls, um, we want to leave a section of uh, on the top part clear. Oh, okay, so I already did that. Yeah, so we'll leave this part See you, clear. Girl. No rice on this part, guys. No rice on the top, guys. Yeah. All right, so afterwards, it should look like this. Um, Mine looks so freaking cute, guys. <laughs> and then we're <laughs> gonna get some sesame seeds. Just get like a dash and just spread it all around. Okay, yeah. like Salt Bay. Yeah, I like Salt Bay. Ew. <laughs> Sesame Bay. Ooh wee! There we go. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's turning out nice. Yeah, it's looking good for me. I'm ready to eat. Yep. All right. So now we're gonna get our sushi mats. Ooh. Ready? You got yours? Yep, I got it. We're gonna put it like this, like laying flat down. Okay. Uh, if, if there's rice in, on like behind on the side, mat, it's okay. Okay, I was yeah. just about to say that's yeah. gonna drive me insane. It's okay. okay. Kind of leave it hanging like this. Oh, off of the end. Okay, so bring it towards the yeah. end. Yep. Just a little bit. So the sushi mats are like, it's, it helps us roll the sushi into the way um, it needs to be rolled. I'm gonna brush off this rice, guys. I'm gonna okay. This. All right. So when we cut our avocado, we just kind of want to get like a slice of it. Like this, simple. Put on one side, get another one. Two pieces. I I, I like avocado, so I, I make them pretty thick. Okay, me too. Yeah. Same. You so don't put like put salt avocado. on it. Again, this should be hanging out like that. And then, when we cut our cucumbers, you want to skin it. Make sure there's no skin on the cucumbers. Um, and then take out the seeds. Like when you cut it, make sure there's no seeds. 
and you kind of want to make it sticks like this. Okay, so make sticks like that. Yeah, you could just put two, or I mean, you have two pieces, or you yeah. could put four pieces if you want to. No, I'm good with two. Oh, uh, you kind of want to spread it out. Like oh, put it on, yeah. oh, so right above like, the avocado. Yeah, right above the avocado, and then we're going to get our Connie sticks, which okay. is cab sticks, and put it right there. Right on top of the avocado. Yep, and then, we're gonna need this Japanese mayo. Mm -hmm. This is the sauce. This makes uh, some people don't put it in, but I like putting it in because it, it just goes well with with um, the rice and everything. So just like a straight line to it. All right. And then straight we'll get to line. Rolling. Me. You said straight line. Me. Look at. <laughs> yes, I mean. She did a squiggly thing. I know. He said straight line. Me. I do a squiggly. It's okay. Know. You could do like that's the thing. Could about you guys sushi imagine too. the kind of student I was? No, that's the thing about sushi. You could you could um, do whatever you want. It's like people freestyle a lot with sushi. Yeah. You do like a bunch of things. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our our mats. We're gonna lift it up like this. So basically, um, you're gonna tuck it like this. Yeah. Like kind of like pinch it a little bit. Yeah. So it forms, and then you're gonna lift it up. But it's the the rice should still be mm -hmm. like on the oval. Right. And you're gonna let it roll like that. So you kind of let it roll. Oh, okay. It's like a yoga mat. And it's then, like rolling, yeah, literally it, it a yoga looks mat. It's huge. It, like it looks kind of fucked up. But then I'm gonna show you guys how to tuck it and make it like perfect it. So and then after that, uh huh. You're gonna put the mat in front of it uh -huh. on the other side. I think I got it, it, guys. Yeah. You're gonna push it back. Mm hmm And then form it like a um. I would say like a, you know, like a subway station, like a tunnel. Yeah. Make it look like a tunnel. So the the base part on the bottom, mm -hmm. laying flat, and then you have a sushi roll. Let's see, guys. Dum dum dum. That's so nice. And the thing is, you can ah, mess up. You, you can always restart. Like you can always like go back to the mat and like open it up and start. Wow. Wait, I'm ready to cut mine now. All so right. how do you? <laughs> Right. I'm ready to so eat mine now. So you're gonna cut now. yours. I'm gonna keep mine on the side because I'm gonna do something. Oh, you doing that fancy stuff, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna cut mine. Just, just cut it, right? No, uh, so what you want to do all. is cut in half. Okay. Evenly. Make sure it's even. Yeah. I don't think it's even this one. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Cut evenly. Even. Mm-hmm. Yours has way more sesame than mine. Oh. Shh. Yeah. Here, I'm it's gonna, a real sushi roll, guys. Yeah, I'd love to make it more straight for you. There you go. Oh, there it goes, yeah. And then now you're gonna bring this piece like that and then cut it in the middle again. There's an uh, avocado that came out. Cut it in the middle again. Sushi will fire me. <laughs> you're, you're, not do, you're not doing that bad. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's good. good. We're gonna okay. do it. Ooh, yeah, look right. at that, guys. And then uh, after you cut through the middle, you're gonna you can cut it again to the middle, so you have four pieces. So it's so it's eight pieces mm. usually with a California roll. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's see. I don't know. <gasps> wow. Oh, wow. And one more. You guys, I just made my own California. And then you know, how, like it's kind of smushed roll. right now. Yeah, just a little you can bit. Fix it again with your mat. This is why the mat is like. I like ugly sushi. So don't mind me. I like beautiful sushi. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> okay. Well, you made it, so that's fine. Yeah, it's cute, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, look, yeah, the rest see? of these are in unison. We're look good. At that. Oh, and yeah. A California roll. Yes. It's not perfect, but edible. It will do its job. Yeah. I'm here for it. Listen. Let's take a shot for that. She just made her own sushi roll. I did. Hey. Okay, guys, so we have our rolls done. My little scraggly raggedy California roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sushi's amazing salmon roll topped with eel sauce and... Masago. And masago. It's uh, fish eggs, basically. It's like caviar. Yum. And, uh, uh, see, like, I kind of just, like, plated my stuff nicely. It's, oh, uh, yeah. Looks Yours are nice, too. So nice i can't time. wait to dig into sushi's plate <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so thank you so much for joining another episode i hope you guys make this i hope you guys go visit the stores grab the cuts make this with your family or even your little kids they would love to see you make sushi um 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much again for joining with me. Thank you, Sushi, as well, for teaching us this amazing recipes. Bye.